Have you ever been asked to evaluate an accident or claim with just conflicting driver statements and a few pictures of damage to the involved vehicles? There's got to be more information somewhere. Well, there is more information. Information that can provide insight into the rest of the story. Technology has evolved that makes obtaining that information possible. That technology is EDR data, obtained with the Bosch Crash Data Retrieval Tool. So what is EDR data? EDR, or Event Data Recorder. It's a function that exists primarily within airbag control modules installed in motor vehicles to record technical vehicle and occupant information for a brief period of time before, during, and after a crash. So what information is contained in an EDR? Most late model vehicles on the road today contain at least five seconds of pre-crash data that includes vehicle speed, delta V, brake status, throttle position, steering input, seatbelt status, occupant detection, and more. So how do you get this data, and how can you use it in your accident or claim evaluation? EDR data is obtained using the Bosch Crash Data Retrieval Tool. EDR data can be accessed and imaged through the vehicle's DLC port or by connecting directly to the airbag control module. It should be noted that the Bosch CDR tool does not and cannot alter, erase, or manipulate the data in any way. It simply images or copies the data from the EDR and generates a report containing the data. Let's take a closer look at how EDR data can shed light on the rest of the story in a typical accident or claim evaluation. In this case, we have a vehicle that was struck from behind shortly after entering the road from a driveway. The speed limit on this roadway is 35 miles per hour. The driver of the gold van said he was exiting a driveway and was making a left turn onto the main roadway. There were no vehicles approaching in either direction when he started his turning movement. He said he traveled a short distance and came to a complete stop at a red signal light. Seconds later, he was struck from behind by the gray car. The driver of the gray car said he was traveling along the main roadway at a speed of 30 to 35 miles per hour. The gold van suddenly pulled out of the driveway directly in front of him. He applied his brakes but was unable to avoid running into the back of the van. All you have are those statements and pictures of damage to the vehicles. Using traditional accident reconstruction methods, a reconstructionist could perform a speed from crush analysis, which may provide an impact speed range of between, say, 30 to 37 miles per hour. Remember, the speed limit is 35 miles per hour. Still have questions? There's got to be more to this story, doesn't there? EDR data can provide more information to help establish the actual cause of this collision. Using the Bosch Crash Data Retrieval Tool, EDR data was obtained from the involved vehicles. The data page for the gold van indicates it was traveling at a speed of 3 miles per hour with the brakes applied 5 seconds prior to impact. The vehicle began slowing and came to a complete stop 3 full seconds before being struck from behind. The data page for the gray car showed it to be traveling 83 miles per hour 5 seconds prior to impact. The anti-lock brakes became active about 2 seconds prior to impact and the vehicle slowed abruptly to 36 miles per hour. The EDR data corroborates the statement of the van's driver. The driver of the gray car's statement as to his speed has now been debunked. So was this a right-of-way violation on the part of the gold van? Or was the excessive speed of the gray car more relevant as to the true cause of this collision? The photos alone suggest this was a moderate speed rear-end collision but with EDR data, you now know the rest of the story. So what did this do for your accident or claim evaluation? If your client was the driver of the gold van, you could likely dispel the allegation of a right-of-way violation. If your client was the driver of the gray car, you now have more detailed information to make decisions on how to position yourself in the processing of this claim. As you can see, EDR data provides a clear, unbiased look at what was really happening before and at the moment of impact. EDR data can also be used to answer questions involving who hit whom first claims, hit while unattended claims, driver and occupant seatbelt usage, presence of passengers, vehicle speed, steering and braking input, 
crash severity and potential for injury, and more. Technology of the future is here. Independent market research has proven EDR data to be one of the most reliable sources of evidence for vehicle crash investigation. EDR data and the Bosch Crash Data Retrieval Tool. Are you using it? For more information on the Bosch CDR tool and the entire CDR product line, visit CrashDataGroup.com.